What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Yesterday, the world's longest serving monarch that I believe, at least popular one, passed away after reigning for 70 years. That is Queen Elizabeth II. We are all very familiar who she is. She's very identifiable. She's even on the British pound. And she's had an impact on, you know, many African countries uh, because she was there when they wanted independence. Your Ghana's of the world, Nigeria's of the world, Kenya's. Her reign is older than these countries. Okay. That's how long she was in power. But you know, I noticed something very unique. This was something similar when Princess Diana passed away in the 90s. When Princess Diana passed away, unfortunately from a car accident, obviously she had um, divorced from King Charles. They had some issues going on there, but she was well loved by many people um, in the world. She was almost like a, she was a superstar, not like a superstar, she was a superstar, but when she died, so many people were sad. And I noticed this amongst um, African-Americans, blacks. There were a lot of people that were given a lot of condolences to her and things like that. And it could be well-deserved because she was a very lovable person. From what I understand, she and Queen Elizabeth did not get along very well. And, and, and what I've noticed is that a lot of the friends that I have, um, have been posting up their condolences on WhatsApp statuses of Princess Diana, especially those from these Commonwealth countries, the Ugandas, the Nigerias, the Kenyas, and things like that. And I don't have a problem with giving such people condolences. If you feel that it is worth it, then I get it. Fundamentally though, I ask this question. When African leaders pass away, when black leaders pass away, when kings of the black world, the ancient black world, I'm talking about the antiquity of the rulership authority by blood that still exists in many African countries today. When they pass away, do other groups post them on their Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook? Are they talking about it? The answer is no. And that's what I'm talking about today. Because one of the things that Europeans do very well, in my honest opinion, is they respect their people. Now, obviously I saw some people making some pretty um, hideous jokes about the queen and smoking on the pack and all that kind of stuff. And Kobe Bryant crossing her up in heaven. I thought that was very distasteful. But again, knowing what the British crown has done um, and played a part in racism in the world, I can understand people feeling that way. Got it. But now, what about respecting our people? the way we respect others who have a history of doing harm to us. If you look at Britain and what Britain represents, and you look at places like the United States, which the USA is a spinoff of that, you look at the Caribbean islands, Jamaica, Trinidad, such places, Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, parts of South Africa, or South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Sierra Leone, areas where blacks are suffering. The Mau Mau's in Kenya, atrocious things that have happened to them over the years from the hands of the British. And in my opinion, with knowledge of the queen. Now we must be honest that the queen and the crown and, and the state are separate. So the prime minister could have more power than her, but she still does wield some power here. And I'm not here to say that she had anything to do with any of these acts, but it makes me hard to believe that she knew nothing about it. Yet we respect those people more than those in our own group. And that is the fundamental issue that I have here because other groups don't do that. Look at, you know, I was, I was in Dubai recently. I was in Dubai and, and, and you know what I noticed about Emiratis, 
that makes them different than us. They respect their leaders. And one of the good reasons is that their leaders actually do some great stuff. But we have folks who have do, who do things and we don't respect them like we should. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. This man, I cannot say enough about him. In my opinion, he's the greatest monarch in the history of today's world. He's the greatest leader of any city, any country in the world today. It's him. Flat out. Everything he gets, he deserves. You can't tell me a better leader than this guy. That's how good he is. You've seen what he's done. You've seen the leadership. You see how people are safe, how he transformed his country, his city into the world's best city that I've seen as a great ruler. But there, you won't have pictures of other people there. You're going to have pictures of him and his people love him. And the people love the queen. Had no problem with that. But the problem is we love other rulers and don't love ours. People doing stuff in the community for us. We won't support it. We'll be trying to figure out a way to complain about it. Or as soon as we, you know, uh, get upset, we want to leave. I was listening to brother talk about that the other day on Focus on Liberia about joining action groups. Are you joining groups because of the goals of the group? Or are you joining a group because you like the person? And as soon as you fall out with the person, you quit the whole group. Let's say if the group is to feed black kids in America, that's your goal. But for whatever reason, you have an argument with the leader. You decide you want to meet, you want to leave the group. And that has nothing to do with the overall goal. And we have a sickness. Many times worshiping those people who have a history of doing bad things to us while at the same time bigging up other people. And you think they don't notice that? Why do you think we don't have anything? We don't, we don't care about our countries. I'm talking about in the black world, like we should. We don't reinvest into them, into our people. Why? Because of the mentality that has taken us back. And I'm telling you, everybody looks to their own people to do something for them. Because when somebody dies in the black world, I can tell you, Italians, Polish, Germans, at the same rate that we do, they're not doing it like we do it. They're not. Even in the, 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 you know, you have African soccer. Listen, they're watching Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United before they give a damn about their own stuff. It's ridiculous. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Pretty sure for all, all that you do, subscribe to the bell. We're out.